Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on the Arrowverse and, well, yeah, mainly the Arrowverse, but I guess DC TV as well. So throughout the 11 year run of the Arrowverse proper year, 11 years, starting back in 2012 with Arrow and ending officially with The Flash in 2023, so 11 years, we had a various amount of cool moments, a lot of which came from the crossovers that we got starting in 2014, which is, which was during Arrow season three and The Flash season one. Now there are technically more crossovers by name than what we will include in this video, but I thought I would just go over the best crossover moments in my opinion with with, with my selections uh, being, you know, maybe one from some, maybe two from some, maybe three from some, but it's all going to be from each major crossover. So don't, we're not including like the musical crossover between Flash and Supergirl. We're not including Armageddon, stuff like that. Like those type of crossovers, not including, we're including the major ones that, well, yeah, by major crossover, I'll just sort of explain it how I've written it down I just mean the crossovers that happened around the end of the year so around like what episode eight or nine of each respective show that was involved so those crossovers are Flash vs Arrow, Heroes Join uh, Forces, Invasion, Crisis on Earth X, Elseworlds and of course Crisis on Infinite Earths they are the cro uh, crossovers that will be included in this video but of course throughout the video be sure to let me know in the comment section down below your favorite moments from the Arrowverse crossovers it can be like how I'm going to do it where I'm just going to go through each individual one and list one or two or maybe even three depending on the respective crossover or you can just list your top three overall let me know in the comments I'm always curious because I'm sure people have different favorite moments but then there might be a decent amount that have similar if not the same ones that I have but yeah let me know in the comments all that and of course if you're going to enjoy the video want to show support want to drop a like takes two seconds feel free to do it so yeah I'm not going to rank it like 10 to 1 because I will at the end of the video give my overall favorite moment but I want to just list a couple or maybe just one because there is one crossover here where I can only really think of one favorite moment off the top of my head without actually re-watching it I don't really feel like that that's that's necessary to spend all that time just for this video so this is all off memory, but I'm pretty happy with my choices that I've put here. Though for one of them, I can only think of one favorite moment, but the rest have at least two or three. So yeah, we're going to go in order. So we're going to start with Flash versus Arrow. And this is pretty simple. It's like, it sort of just lines up with what the, the name of the crossover is. And my first moment, I have two here. My first moment is simply the Flash versus Green Arrow fight. When of course we had the Flash uh, controlled by Rainbow Raider, I think it was. And obviously Oliver Queen as the Green Arrow had to try and fight this much more powerful person who was being brain controlled essentially. So that was just a really cool moment because we weren't exactly sure like, you know, because it seems a bit stereotypical, I guess, or cliche in the comics that they would do this. Like, there'd just be, like, a moral reason as to why this would happen. But they just made it that the Flash was brain control, which I think just made it more simple. I don't think we needed the Flash or Green Arrow being in this, like, moral dilemma where they felt like they needed to fight each other. So I thought, like, the reasoning for the fight was pretty decent. And the fight itself was pretty cool to see as well, especially back then. And the second thing I have for this crossover, which was the first one. So we were doing, like, baby steps. And there were, I don't want to say growing pains, but they didn't necessarily, like, reach for the stars. Because that was going to be happening in later crossovers. And they would build upon it. But I did like the simple thing of Team Arrow meeting Team Flash. I just like the simple thing, or the simple you know, concept around that because, you know, you think, oh, well, you know, they're just sort of similar, I guess, in nature and there's like similar things within them, but then you meet and you, you see the two different groups meet and you're like, oh, okay, there is a bit of a difference here. And it was, uh, I, I thought that was fun to see. Next up we have, it's a weird thing. I always call it like the Legends of Tomorrow setup thing, um, but it's officially called Heroes Join Forces, which I think is a bit of a lame crossover name, probably the lamest of them all, but uh, yeah, I would have just called it Legends set up the crossover. That's probably better sounding than Heroes Joined Forces. But anyway, I can, I can only list one for this crossover, but I think it's a really cool moment. And that's the simple one where we had Barry time travel and seeing, and then we got to see everyone die. It's so obviously when Vandal Savage gets that magical staff thing and then like, I don't know, like slams it down the ground, like whatever it is. And it sends out the shockwave and it pretty much kills everyone. And we get to see everyone die, which I thought was pretty nasty as well, like pretty rad. But then, of course, we get Barry time traveling and sort of reversing that sequence. I think that's like the standout moment from that crossover. So it's definitely the hardest one or definitely be the hardest thing, even out of this list to like the entire video to not include the video because I think it's the clear standout from that crossover. So, yeah, it's the only one I could really think of the top of my head. There's like minor ones, but they're not as that exciting. I thought of like the opening fight where like I think like Hawkman, like they're dealing with Hawkman stuff, but not much happens there. So I think this one's the standout. Next up, we have Invasion, which was like the first like real like 
big crossover, I think, where we had all these different, like we had Supergirl involved, Legend of Tomorrow involved, and of course, Flash and Arrow there as well, though Supergirl's episode wasn't really a crossover episode. We got hashtag clickbait with that one back in the day. If you remember, you remember. But the two I've put here is, I think the standout ones that I think most would agree on, though there could be some like minor character moments, which people might prefer. But I think the first one is maybe one that a lot of people would think of, and that's the rooftop scene where we had like the, well, the Dominators versus all the heroes. It was like the first like real, like everyone's there and everyone's fighting. I think this is, this is like, this is still used as like promotional material heading into like Christ itself, but even like the Flash's final season and stuff, like little snippets of that. So that rooftop scene, I think is a standout for sure. And my second one that I put in here, I think some might not think of it immediately, but then maybe when I say it, you go, oh yeah, that was pretty cool. But it was just that like, you know, when everyone goes into what will be the Hall of Justice, so it's like the aircraft, car uh, like aircraft hangar sort of thing. And it's just like an old Star Labs thing that, that you can use. Of course, this goes on to be the Hall of Justice. But just that introductory thing where everyone goes in and meets each other for the first time. I just found that really cool. I just found that like a really nice moment and like a memorable moment from within the crossover. It's nothing, there's no fighting. It's just character interactions. But it's something I definitely remember from this specific crossover. And here, I think at this point, we're getting into the big boys. We're getting into the ones where like a lot of stuff was going down in pretty much all of these crossovers. So next up, we have Crisis and Earth X. And I could have listed like four or something, but I really wanted to condense this one down to two. And my standout one, I think, in this is just because it happened really early on, is the wedding fight scene. Not the wedding itself, because the wedding was just a wedding. But it's the, I guess there's some comedic stuff leading up to it. And even like in the, in the, like the church before the actual ceremony starts, but the actual fight scene when the Earth X soldiers come in. And we, of course we have like the, the Nazi superheroes as well. That whole fight scene was cool. Everyone almost got like a time to shine, you know, like even like Wally, like Wally has like the coolest scene in that thing. And this was a season where in the flash, he was sort of disrespected and he ended up leaving the show. This was during season four of the flash, remember? So that scene with him, just, just Wally in particular was really cool, but I thought everything within that scene was awesome as well. So the wedding fight scene definitely stands out from this crossover. And the next thing I chose is actually sort of like a, I guess like a bookend. We had the wedding fight scene at the beginning in the first episode. And my other moment is the Earth X versus Heroes fight in the final episode where they're like under the bridge and everything. And we get all that, those cool fight scenes and stuff like that. That was like everyone, once again, everyone got like a moment to shine, but it was even more characters at that point. So that's a standout as well. So it's pretty fitting that Christ and Earth X, which a lot of people rank as like the most action packed crossover and so much happening has its two standout moments as like big action fight sequences. So I think that's pretty fitting. Next up we have Elseworlds. Now Elseworlds was a bit of a hard one because I like Elseworlds as a crossover, but it's not like there's like, I don't know if there's necessarily like ridiculous amount of standouts, but funnily enough, I have three here, but I think that's maybe because it was hard to sort of decipher or bring like, think of like just two. I know this sounds weird, but I was like, you know, two big ones and stuff. So the first thing I put down here is the Arkham Asylum sequence. I know people don't, some people don't like this. I like it. I think it's pretty well done uh, just because of the scope of it all. Like there's like a lot of different things happening and everything like that. So I actually like the Arkham Asylum sequence. I think people maybe just wanted more, like more like they wanted the penguin showing up and fighting or whatever it is. But I like it for the most part, even just like the build up to it, like them actually going in. And then obviously the fight starts when like the, the breakout happens and everything like that. So I enjoy the Arkham Asylum sequence for what it is. The second thing I have is the Amazo fight. Once again, it sort of got spoiled because I remember like everything in this fight was seen in set photos, but seeing like how Amazo worked, I thought the CGI was pretty good as well. Superman was involved, which was a big standout as well. So the Amazo fight is pretty hard to dislike, uh, though maybe some would have preferred it was a tiny bit better, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And my third one is more of a bonus one. I probably wouldn't have included it. I actually put it down pretty late. And I actually did the same thing for Christ and Infinite Earths when we get to it in a second. I put down one like a bit later, it's like a third option. So my bonus choice for Elseworlds is just the end part with Psycho Pirate when he's talking about like worlds will die and stuff like that. Of course, setting up Christ and Infinite Earths. And then we got the title card teasing it for the next year's crossover, which is a massive moment. If you were there, you were there. I remember the hype around it, it was ridiculous because everyone wasn't expecting it. There was no rumors about Christ and Infinite Earths being the next thing. Though with like characters like the Monitor and Psycho Pirate being involved, there was, you know, a thought that, mm, are they teasing Crisis or building up to it? But there was no announcements at that point. And then they gave us the fallen reveal at the end of Elseworlds, which was awesome. But yeah, speaking of Christ and Infinite Earths, it's our last crossover to talk about here. And... I, I think people will have one of my choices 100%. I'm not too sure about the second one. So the one that I think a lot of people have is a pretty simple one, and that's the Flash of Two Worlds. So the 
Flash from the DC TV world, meaning the Flash from the DCU, aka Grand Gustin meets Ezra Miller. Obviously, it was crazy when it happened, didn't leak, no one knew it was happening, off its head, went crazy online, on Twitter was a meltdown, on YouTube was a meltdown. Probably one of the best cameos I want to say ever. I don't know if it's the best, but I'd say it's probably top three no matter what, especially in the superhero realm. Uh, like the comic book media across the movies and TV. So I don't think it will be knocked out. I know there's the whole thing around Ezra Miller and the drama around that, but if you take that out, just the shock and awe around it, it's definitely top three, I think, all time, for now at least. I don't know if anything necessarily beats it too much, just because no one was expecting it. No one, no one. Other things like you expect it and they happen, and then that can be exciting, but no one was expecting that to happen. So that's why it shoots up so high, in my opinion. The second thing I have is once again, it sort of plays into that flash of two worlds, but it's sort of like the Superman throughout the multiverse sequence when, of course, Lex Luthor was going there. And of course, that's because we get to go back to, you know, getting to meet the Smallville Superman and Tom Welling. But then, of course, that's when we go to the Kingdom Come Earth and that's when we meet that Superman. And then we get the Superman v Superman fight, which was really cool. So I really enjoy that sequence in Christ and Infinite Earths as well in regards to just like having fun as a fan. And the final thing I put here is similar to Elseworlds. I put a bit of a, bit of a bonus choice. And I just put Earth Prime, which is just episode five. I know episode five is probably the weakest episode in the Christ and Infinite Earths crossover, but just all the heroes being on one Earth and there being that history there. I enjoyed that, though obviously like things didn't play out from that point after Crisis, where we maybe we would have would have wanted more interaction. At that time, I enjoyed it. But what is my overall favorite moment from these crossovers? So of course I've put there's five crossovers here. I've pretty much, well, like things like 11 or 12 choices overall. I don't know. I think it's a tie. Like I have, and they sort of, for different reasons, I think. So the, I think it's a tie between the Flash of Two two Worlds scene from Christ and Infinite Earths with Grant Gustin's Flash meeting Ezra Miller's Flash. But that's more of like a fan, like, oh my God, what the hell? Just in the moment, moment, if that makes sense. And the other thing I have tying with it is just the wedding fight scene in Christ and an Earth, uh, Crisis on Earth X. I think that's just so well done and is very, very rewatchable. Just go like type it up on YouTube or something and watch it or just load up the actual episode itself. Um, but those two are pretty tied and they're there for different reasons, if that makes sense. Like one's like a big fan, like, ah, oh, moments. And the other one's just a really well done moment within a crossover. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with tying them together. I don't know if I could really choose one. I'm not, I'm not, it's like, yeah, we'll just leave it as that. They're a tie. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. If you drop a like on it, show support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various thoughts and everything we went over in this video. What are your favorite moments from the Arrowverse crossovers? You can even choose one from them. The smaller ones, like the musical one or Armageddon or whatever it is. You can choose something from there if you want. Or you can just choose it from the five main ones like I have in this video. You just choose one. You can make a list like I have. I don't know. It's up to you. Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.